I'm Dr. Robert Schmidt, and I'm a facial plastic surgeon. Revision rhinoplasty can be tough, and it's tough for a few different reasons. When someone has had nasal surgery before, uh, either for cosmetic purposes or because they had breathing issues, you know, you always want everything to turn out as perfectly as it possibly can. But sometimes the techniques that were used in the past, we've learned that there are better techniques. And sometimes just for whatever reason, the surgery doesn't take, either from scar tissue or just the stars didn't align correctly. So from a technical standpoint, you know, if someone's already been there, there's can be scar tissue that you have to work through and, and your options for, for what you can do can be limited sometimes. But then there's also the psychological aspect of it for the patient, because they had already placed their, their trust in, in someone else and um, the, the results weren't what they were expecting. And so the decision to undergo a revision can, can be tough for them. I do revision rhinoplasty for a couple different reasons. The, the vast majority of my revisions are because someone had had surgery and now they can't breathe. We also can be in a situation where they had surgery, they can't breathe, and their nose looks not so great. And that was a situation that I, I had with, with this patient. Um, and we actually talked about it for years before deciding to move ahead with it. Uh, the, the nose that she got looked pinched. It didn't fit the rest of her facial features. And she couldn't breathe. And I, I picked up on that immediately the first time I ever saw her when we were talking about Botox or something. And uh, we talked about it off and on for a series of years before deciding to go ahead with it. And I, I had a, an honest conversation with her saying, look, uh, I think I can help you, but there's a chance that it's not going to end up the way that we would want. And so uh, ultimately the decision was hers to, to move ahead. And um, uh, I'm, I'm glad that we were able to have that kind of trusting relationship that we were able to, to move forward. The results speak for themselves. It's a dramatic change in, in how her nose looks and she can breathe. And that was really from her first post-op visit. She, she was just uh, so, so happy. And, and she told me, I feel like I got my nose back. And, and that's, that's what you want, you know? You wanna help somebody to breathe better, but you also want them to, to feel like they're, the portion of their life where they had a nose that didn't fit them, that you know, you, you've made that gone. And, and, and so revision rhinoplasty is really a, a way to help people functionally, but it also can just change people's lives. My breathing passage was encumbered. It was completely narrowed. And he, he I came in here and he stuck a cue to it. He was like, how would it be better to breathe now? You know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. So um, he did add like a piece of cartilage and brought the tip down and somehow he's the, the doctor. Um, it, it opened up that nasal passage completely up. And it's like, oh, I could snore if I did, but I mean, you know, it's good. So he is just, and I came in knowing, um, girls, the other thing I did, um, he's got two things. I have my eyelids done because I have the deep set eyes and my eyelids getting with age, looking too heavy. So that's what he originally did. And, um, and now I would follow him across the country or something. He's that good. And there's like no down here. There, or it was just, I don't want to say it was easy, but mm -mm. I went in with the, the nose job thinking, oh my gosh, what? This is going to be hard. I came in, no bruising, hardly at all. So, yeah. I'm Dr. Robert Schmidt and I'm a board certified facial plastic surgeon. I can't wait to start our relationship together.